Welcome back. As a resort community, it's always interesting to follow along with trends in vacation, home rentals, and much more. And right now we are going to focus on Airbnb, especially tiny homes. Airbnb has really changed the game recently and providing very unique rentals such as windmills, other fun options when we travel. And we have Ellis Nanny here to tell us all about why tiny homes are now the big new trend in Airbnbs. Ellis, thanks for joining us today. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. So tell me more about these recent trends with Airbnb and why you think they're becoming so popular. Yeah, it's crazy. Over the last two years, unique stays, uh, the st people, the night spent at unique stays has increased over 50%. Um, and it just really shows one that yeah, people are more location independent and two, uh, people are looking for a uh, to feel inspired, uh, looking for a special experience outside of just the uh, location that they're going to. So where they're staying is becoming as much the destination as um, you know the location or the town around it itself. And it provides a lot of opportunities for people who have fun, crazy ideas and, and are interested in hosting. And Ellis, I understand that you are the host of a tiny home in Idaho. Tell us more about how you got started in doing this and some of the challenges and great things about hosting such a unique place. Yeah, so I was super fortunate. Um, right out of college, I had the travel bug and was traveling all over the world and marketing Idaho potatoes all over the U.S. and made a friend who kind of introduced me to the minimalist tiny house movement. And I thought, wow, this is perfect. Um, I can establish roots and also continue living my lifestyle without going into a bunch of debt. And so in 2015, I bought the property and over the course of four years, I just slowly built it up, um, built it out of salvage materials. And in 2019, officially listed it before taking off on a 10 month trip. And um, everyone's experience is a little different, but fortunately for me, I was actually able to pay off um, uh, recoup the funds that I spent on the build uh, in that first year and also go out and be traveling the world at the same time. And it sounds like there's been many benefits for you. What have you learned along the way, being a host, meeting people all over the world and hosting them in your tiny home? Yeah, it's kind of a, a fun way of like reverse traveling. So I love, one of my favorite things about traveling is, is running around and, and meeting people and experiencing different cultures. And now I get to invite them into to my space, into my world and kind of curate an experience for them. And uh, so it's been extremely rewarding. Um, I do love the feedback and reviews that I get and it helps me to continue to build and and make a special experience for, for future guests. And what's your advice for someone if they're thinking about creating a home to host on Airbnb, whether it's unique or just in a fabulous place or just somewhere that they know people will want to stay, what do you tell them? Um, I say don't get intimidated by all the all the steps. You can go to airbnb.com backslash host to get like the um, official way to get started and set up a, a profile. But really, you can just start small, whether you've got an extra bedroom, a backyard, you know, some of extra land, have an RV. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can curate a fun space and Airbnb's platform makes it so that people looking for unique experiences can find you. Well, Alice, really appreciate this fun conversation about Airbnbs. Thank you so much for joining us today, discussing the trend of unique homes that you can find on Airbnb, also encouraging people to become a host, and this new idea to have tiny homes on Airbnb, such as the one that Ellis hosts in Idaho. So we appreciate his time today. We'll be back with more right after this.